Hey guys, this is Claudia here from the Bookkeeping Experts. Today we're coming up with a um, sales receipt. I have Deborah, one of our uh, subscribers who requested us to cover the subject and we're going to cover it today. All right, here we go. Oh yes, before we start, let's make sure that we set up your QuickBooks into Accountant View and make sure on the left hand side click on the gear menu and switch to accounting view mine is already there so it says switch to business view if your account looks different than this so you can navigate better through my instructions all right once once you are in accounting view on the left hand side you want to click on the plus new here you have access to sales receipt now why should you use sales receipt when a customer already paid you and you just want to send a receipt to a customer or record it in QuickBooks Online. If you need um, to have the payment processed or you need to send an invoice to a customer, you would not use sales receipt, you would use the invoice. And there's a different work uh, workflow for invoices versus sales receipt. So we can cover invoice on the next video but today we're gonna go ahead and click on sale we're go going to cover sales <laughs> receipt all right go ahead and click on the plus new on the left hand side menu and we're gonna go ahead and click on sales receipt right here and sales receipt is very simple so you get, you're just gonna go ahead and put your customer name and uh, the date that you received the money and the product or service you're you're offering let's say here custom design that's good enough for me we want to send this to undeposited funds and the reason why is because in quickbooks online we have a workflow and the workflow will uh, will make sure that all your income transactions are cleared in the bank and not uh, reported into your bank and not properly cleared or duplicated or something like that. So that's why we send it to undeposited funds because undeposited funds is when you record that the payment has been received but is not in the bank yet. Once you physically deposit in the bank, you will record the, um, the bank deposit in QuickBooks Online into the bank that you're depositing the money for the exact amount that you deposit. That's very important to, to know that. So uh, I, I've seen a lot of my clients uh, recording a sales, a sales receipt for a cash payment that was never deposited into the bank. So that's a no-no. You want to make sure that when you record the, the sales receipt, you send to undeposited funds, and then when you record the deposit, if you don't deposit in the bank, don't record it to the bank. You, you should record it to a cash account, for instance, and that should be fine, right? But not to the bank when you don't deposit <laughs> to the bank. <laughs> All right, so here's the receipt. We're going to say that um, design for $75, and the date is the date that um, I got paid. Oh, once again, sales receipt is only when you've already been paid. And then you can save and send. All right, here's just saying that we already got your money. So your sales receipt is attached. Thank you for your business. We appreciate very much. Or you can modify that if you'd like. Um, there is ways for you to um, customize the sales receipt as well as the invoice. Um, we, can, we can talk about that, but here we can go ahead at this point and save and send. Okay. All right. So it says that the email was not sent because this is a sample company. Yeah. But if it's not a sample company, then yes, you will receive that. All right. So uh, I talked to you about customizing your sales receipt. And the way you customize, once you open your sales receipt on the top right hand side, see the little gear menu? Okay, you can open up the gear menu and make changes there. Oh, I'm sorry, on the left bottom, they changed that, yay! Okay, 
on the bottom of the page on the black customize right here and you can use standard or it can do a added current or new style All right new style if you click there you can add your your unique logo so you can just click here and download it from your computer uh, you can put some color on it so um, and just modify in whatever way you want it okay even change the font if you want and same thing for the for the invoice okay we're gonna talk like I said we're gonna uh, talk about the invoice at another time so uh, once again we just recorded the sales the sales receipt we send it to the customer and now we're gonna, going to record the deposit so we deposit to the bank uh, and in this case we we didn't deposit in the bank we deposit into the cash account if that's the case this is how you're gonna record it bank deposit and see where it says checking here you want to make sure you click here and in this sample account there's no ca patty cash but uh, we can create right now so cash at hand can call it cash of hand or just rename it as patty cash okay we're gonna select this that transaction the date and then we can go ahead and save this save and close to the patty cash if you want to see this deposit you can go ahead and click on accounting uh, we can go ahead and go to chart of accounts and this is our cash on hand and if you could click on view register there it is the deposit that we just reported into um, cash cash at hand if this was not the case if this amount was actually going into uh, your bank account I'm gonna go ahead and show what to do in that case so let's suppose that cool's car here uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, this this is actually a payment into an invoice uh, but if it was a sales receipt it would be the same thing so we we would um, select the transaction sales receipt or invoice or payment in this case we are gonna go ahead and change this to checking the date that was deposited in this case I'm gonna change it here to June let's suppose it was done on June 27th and we're gonna go ahead and save and close we're gonna go ahead and go to banking right now on the left hand side click on banking and we're gonna go ahead and go to the right bank account uh, and we're gonna find that transaction that is matching so that happened oh this one is not matching okay is not matching it's a sample account guys so that transaction is not even here but let's suppose it is here <laughs> so what we're gonna do is make sure that when you match it you're matching to a deposit you're not matching to a payment and the reason why you want to do that is once again to follow that workflow sales receipt would be record the sales receipt into undeposited funds then record the deposit going into the bank account okay now uh, for some of you uh, you may have noticed that the undeposited funds have changed the name and um, they are calling it uh, deposit uh, or money not the dep not deposited but basically it's the same thing it's undeposited fund means that uh, money that you have not officially gone to the bank and deposited in the bank all right so I hope that this was useful to you if you like this video please subscribe to our channel we like to come come up with different kinds of uh, tutorials in QuickBooks online to make your life easier my greatest pleasure in life is to make sure I can help you understand QuickBooks online and I really get excited to hear people that are being able to understand how the whole process works and being able to catch up with their books and be able to 
understand where they are financially. The importance of knowing your point of reference, as I talked in prior videos, is the key to your business success. Not knowing where you are in the map, it's kind of like driving with no direction <laughs> or even or even worse um, just trying to drive on a road with uh, with your eyes closed it really is the receipt for a disaster so um, one thing that I always tell my customers is that if you only go to your uh, accountant once a year to file your taxes that is not enough you need to understand the whole process of your business, how you are, how you're doing, how's your expenses, how's your income, where are your best customers, who are they, and why are they buying, what are the products they're selling the most, and things like that. If you're not a product, if it's not a product that you sell, what kind of services are you selling the most or providing the most? Where is your revenue coming from, and where is your ex expenses, your costs? Uh, going to so it th this information is the key for knowing uh, how you should properly manage your business to take it to the next level understanding the cash flow wow how important is that knowing how much money you have to continue growing your business and making sure that you are not charting cash um, with the economy the way it is it's always good to know um, and that those little steps are the little steps that are going to make all the difference in your business. It's kind of like an athlete. You know, those little extra efforts that an athlete uh, puts in order to succeed is what makes a difference for an athlete to either take first place, second place, or not place at all. So same thing with your business. Those extra steps of understanding your financials is the key for you to stay ahead of the game. All right. So I hope you like this video. Like I said, give us a thumbs up if you do so and subscribe to our channel. When you subscribe to our channel, we're going to bring the best tutorials to help you understand your QuickBooks Online. I hope to see you again. Thanks again for watching our video today. And until next time, keep on smiling.